What do you think these items have in common? Come on, guess. What do you think? They are all gluten free. Did you guess that right? Yeah, every single one of them. You might have guessed the topic for today is gluten free lifestyle, healthy or not so healthy. Well, I'm sure you've heard about being gluten free. Your girlfriend is probably gluten free, your boyfriend, your husband, your spouse, I mean, or you in particular might be gluten free. The gluten free lifestyle has been touted as the next health craze. Everyone's talking about it. The food manufacturers are pushing all kinds of items towards you, telling you, yes, it's gluten free, it's healthy. But is it really healthy? If you suffer from celiac disease or you have some kind of allergy, then gluten free, the gluten free lifestyle is for you because it causes inflammation and it just helps. Gluten free lifestyle can help you in so many different ways if you are suffering from celiac disease or you have some kind of allergic reaction to gluten-free items. Now, if you are in the other side of the population where you're just doing it to be healthier, this video is for you because I want you to be truly aware of the items that you're putting into your body while thinking that you are living a healthy lifestyle. There was a survey done recently that showed that most times people eat more items when they say it's gluten-free. So let's take, for instance, gluten-free cookies. You're gonna eat more of that? Yeah, because it says gluten-free. You think, oh, it's good for me, it's gluten-free. And in that survey, they found out that people who ate gluten-free items like that ate way more than they would have if they had picked out just regular cookies. So it's like you're tricking your brain into thinking, oh, it's gluten-free, I can have more. So what I really want you to remember and to think about if you're on the gluten-free lifestyle is read the labels. Really pay attention to what's listed. What does it actually say at the back of that particular product that you're eating that says gluten-free in big bold letters? Because that's what they do. They tell it as gluten-free item, you can have it. But the thing is, what are they replacing those items that they have taken out? Most times, sugar-laden items or fat-laden items that are masking the taste because they've taken the taste out, so they have to replace it with something. And also pay attention to what is listed first. When you read the package of an item, the most abundant ingredient is listed first. So if the first item on there is sugar, you know what that means. That means that item contains mostly sugar. And also, I want you to think about the item that you're eating. Just figure out, imagine how many steps did it take to get to my table? How many of those items are listed? Really, because the more items listed, the more likely that is processed. And that's a true indication of whether that item is really good for you or not. Now, in a nutshell, I'm not saying, you know, you can't have gluten-free items, but I'm just saying be aware. And I think awareness is key. Awareness helps us become, have a better understanding of what we put into our bodies and make important decisions that can help us live a healthy lifestyle. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Kwabi TV, and also pay a visit to my website and subscribe to that also where I share helpful, healthy tips. Take care. Bye.